once we figured out what the that we were having an issue with frequent users of the ambulance services, we, we really had to identify who those people were. So we, we came up with a list of our top 50 individuals, which basically gave us a an idea of, of how much they were using the ambulance over the course of a four or five year period. So once we did that, we actually had to dig in a little further to figure out what were their issues? What what are what types of individuals are we dealing with? Half of them had mental health issues, uh, or a history of mental health issues. Uh, about 84 percent had substance abuse issues, um, and then uh, about a quarter of them were medically disabled. And, and a significant number of those were actually seeking uh, better pain medication and using the ambulance to get to the hospital to get pain medication. Our goal has always been is to help them get out of the system, not shut them out of the system. And that has been a very important hallmark of this program. It puts uh, ambulances more available on the street and being able to get to other people who need the ambulance quicker. And uh, not to mention that there's a incredible cost savings to the system. I would feel scared. And I'd get a really scared feeling and I'd be like, oh my gosh, I need to go call the ambulance. Like, I, don't, I wouldn't know what that feeling was. And so I would call the ambulance, and when I call the ambulance, the, the tension would go down. So I'd be like, okay, well, when that happens again, call the ambulance, and go see the doctor, and everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. And then it got to the point where they were like, you can't do that. And so that's when I really, started to utilize the, the other resources that I had. And it's hard to, I mean, when, when you can just call the ambulance and everything is fine, to, to having to make sure that you talk to somebody, it, it kind of goes, it, it gets hard. Because you have to deal with it. You can't there's no around it there's no easy fix for it you have to, I, I have to realize that I have anxiety every day and that's what it feels like and then when you have those feelings that's what you go do you do not call the ambulance you call somebody else it's a total change from when I started to, to use the ambulance to now I mean I couldn't go one day without feeling anxiety.